Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy of all praise and worthy of all glory. Blessed be our God who lives and reigns forever and ever and sits upon the throne. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God. He is faithful and he is worthy of all praise and worthy of all glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, Wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There is power in the blood. Power, power in, in the blood. blood. There is wonderful power in the blood. Oh, there is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Would you be free from your passion and pride? the name of the Lord. You may be seated in his presence. I want to welcome all of you to the house of the Lord this morning. Let you know this is the day that God has made. We will continue to rejoice and celebrate in the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and at his right hand pleasures forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Glory be to his wonderful name. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. 
I want to welcome those of you visiting with us for the first time. I want to ask you to stand quickly so we can welcome you and give God thanks for you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If we can get another mic on this side so that we'll move very, very quickly this morning. Go ahead. Tell us your name. Tell us who invited you. Praise the name of the Lord. Douglas. I'm here from England with my two sons, Michael Douglas and Matthew. My sister, Sonia, I came to spend some time with her. Amen. <coughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Good morning. My name is Veronica Gentles, and I'm here from Jamaica. I'm here visiting my sister, Marcia. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Good morning, church. My name is Lila Hyacinth Henry. I'm visiting from Jamaica. My daughter, Marcia. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Sharon Henry. My sister, Marcia, I'm visiting. <laughs> Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's sing the welcome song for these folk. And please go around and shake hands with them. Amen. There's a welcome here, there's a welcome here, there's a Christian welcome here, there's a welcome here, there's a welcome here, there's a Christian welcome here. Greet somebody in Jesus' name, tell them that you love them in Jesus' name, tell them we will work together in Jesus' name. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. The time to be happy is now. The place to be happy is here. And the way to be happy is to make others happy. Have a little heaven down here. The time Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Thanks, Mike. Good morning. My name is Shikila Medley, and I'm visiting my Auntie Verona. All right. You're visiting your Aunt Verona. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We want to welcome all of you and thank God for you. Amen. Trust the Lord that you would, would enjoy our time of worship. We just give God praise and thanks for you. Today we do have two birthdays. We have Sister Rachel and Sister Dawn celebrating birthdays. Today we give God praise and thanks for them. Amen. Sister Rachel is right on my left. And oh, you all miss Sister, Sister Neva Swaby. Amen. And Sister Swaby is also celebrating her birthday. Is there anybody else with birthday today? Yeah. Amen. Go ahead. church. All I can say today is hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. That God has blessed me to see another year. On Friday, August 11th, I celebrate my birthday. <laughs> and thank you, Pastor, for the food and the word you bring to us every Sunday to give us the strength to go out there, to face the world, and to prosper. Thanks for your text that I'm able to share with others at my work when they have situations and moments, I let them read it, and we go back on it during the day, and I want to give everyone thanks mm. and praise that I'm here today to worship God. Amen. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Isn't this wonderful? One Trinidad from Trinidad and Tobago, one church. from Jamaica, one from Guyana. They're doing the day well. that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. I just Amen. want to give the Lord thanks and praise for all these years. And he has done so much for me. I have so much to thank him for. And also my, my family. Uh, Friday was my birthday. And I'm very proud to be 77. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. A very, very good God. A wonderful God to me. Wednesday, I celebrated my birthday. But when I reach 70, I'll um, think. I have a few more years. I'm waiting to celebrate like everybody else. And so Wednesday, I woke up early as usual. But two minutes before 12 o'clock, my very dear special prayer partner called me. And she wished me happy birthday, sang the birthday song, prayed with me and everything, and said she had to have the first happy birthday song for me. So bless God. Amen. So I woke up early, went to bed, got up, and had a lovely time with my Lord dancing and singing. Oh, you want to know if I can dance? Yes, I can. But then I, when I see minutes to eight, nobody called me. Nobody. I'm saying, I said, Don, uh-uh, you're not living right. You got to do better because minister eight and nobody called you to say happy birthday. Something is wrong. But by the time 10 of eight, the calls begin to come in. And then it seemed as if everybody just wanted to come home where I was to bring my gifts and to bless me. And I will say I was greatly blessed. Amen. I'm always blessed every year, but I think this year it was more than you can think of. Amen. So my blessings and God has been good to me. For the past year, God has been good to me. Because I can say for the years that we're going, it was so much that I've had to do. I've always had to be doing and doing and doing and doing. But God has been so good to me. And my only desire is to continue to serve my God. Because Amen. I know who he is. Amen. I know him. I can feel him. I can see him. He answers my prayers. He has delivered me. He has strengthened me. Amen. And there is no God like Jehovah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Sister Swaby and Sister Dawn, please, you come to the front. So, and yes, Rachel is out here already. Amen. Amen. Rachel is from Trinidad and Tobago via England. Sister Dawn is from Guyana. Sister Swaby is from Jamaica. Praise the name of the Lord. A happy birthday to you. A happy birthday to you. Every day of the year. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. God bless you. <laughs> that you ever happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
praise God. Thank God for all these wonderful people and their birthday. We just give God thanks for you. Amen. And praise God. Yes, it's a sweet or something else. Amen. This is where we flew past me one day. I thought it was a teenager driving on the road. She's doing well. We just thank God for her. She comes here every week and work in the, the help to clean and keep this facility going fine. And we just thank God for her. Yesterday was quite an interesting day. It was the day when we had a work day and uh, the men disappeared from the place. We couldn't find them. We just couldn't find them. If it wasn't for Brother Eddie and Officer Fraser, I would have been the only man on the location. Amen. We just thank God for them. But I'll tell you what, I can always count on the ladies, can always count on the women. Sister Verona was here. And she came early, and the two of us started out to push some of that stuff out of there. Then Diane came, and I knew she was going to come. And the three of us, for a while, started to do a lot of the stuff. Then Eddie came, and then Esther and Lorianne came. And Sister Marva came along. And then Sister Paris, well, we know she was coming. She prepared the stuff to keep people going. And we had a great time. But brethren, we want to make sure that we do better the next time. Then we had some of the folk who came toward the end. Sister Arthur, Sister Juanita. Then uh, Methuselah came in down toward the end. Sister Juanita, Sister Collette, Sister Yvonne, and some others rolling after. But in the beginning, it was tough on the three of us, especially. <laughs> I mean, you got to celebrate, celebrate. Uh, Verona and Diana, the two of them, I don't know. They, uh, but we thank God for what we were able to accomplish yesterday. And uh, we still have work to do over there in the, the pantry area. We've got some steel we need to get rid of. And so we are trusting the Lord that the dumpster is out there. we got 30 days with the dumpster. We're not throwing the steel in the dumpster. We're selling the steel. And so we, we want to make sure that we get things together. And the onus now is on Brother Isaacs to make sure that he coordinate with the men to get this, this part finished. I want the women go get their hand cut with nothing at the back there. It's Brother Isaac's responsibility now to make sure that he get the men to show up. Amen. Amen, Mrs. Amarba. Praise God. And so we got to get this stuff. So listen, brethren, today is the 13th of September. In another two weeks, 13th of August. <laughs> oh, y'all still want some of y'all. I want this thing finished. I really want this thing to finish. Because too many of you traveling during the summer, so I want y'all, all of the travelers to be home. Yeah. Today's the 13th of August. By the time you twist and turn, we're in September. This place start getting cold. And so we want to make sure all that we've got to do, we got to get it done while it is still warm. Amen. And so we have the dumps of 30 days. So for the days remaining, we want to make sure that we fill that dumpster with every piece of garbage we might have over there in that, in that pantry area. Because we want to manage the space properly and have that place looking real good. And if we get it looking good, we'll be able to paint the floor and paint inside of there so that it looks real nice. I mean, it's a supermarket for some folk. I'm sure you want to treat the supermarket good. Isn't that right, Esther? And so we want to make sure we want, we want to keep it looking good. And so, where was Keith? You got to ask him. He's over there. He can, he's, a, he's a grown man. He can speak for himself. They're coming the next time. All of these men on the board who were not there, they're going to be there except for the Paris who is on, mi on the mission trip in Guyana, all the men on the board are going to show up so that we get that place. You can come anytime during the day, Tuesday through Friday, Saturday. We'll make sure 
then you'll be able to get done what needs to be done. But we got to get rid of the, all of the stuff that we have in the rack so that we can take care of that place and have it looking real wonderful. Again, I thank God for the women who showed up yesterday and work, and my brother Eddie and the office of Fraser, who really did a wonderful job when, when Esther and Verona get the desk out to the ramp. They took care of it so it can go into the dumpster. And so we just bless God and thank God for them. Oh, yes, Carl, Lorian, and Esther, they came and work. And Lorian was doing all kinds of running around this place for us to the office, to the health room, and we just praise God for all of them. I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, we can't take anything for granted. We can't be comfortable now that we have our own place. We got to take care of it. Amen. We got to take care of it. And we can't go paying people to come and do what we can do for ourselves. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know that I'm not going to ask you to do something that I can't do. I'll be there with you. Lifting, pushing, pulling, doing what got to be done. Because we want the house of the Lord to be in good order. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And all those who didn't show up are forgiven this once. Are forgiven this once. You're hearing some of the guilty ones saying amen and all them kind. Are forgiven. Forgiven. We preach forgiveness from this pulpit. So we forgive everyone who didn't show up yesterday. Amen. The next time, if you don't show up, I personally will take the offering bucket and go to the door and take from you a special offering for all that we've done. And you got to start, and I'm starting at $100 per person. So if you don't want me to go there, then you show up. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God is a good God. And we just give him praise and give him thanks for his faithfulness and for his grace. Please remember to keep Sister Jesse and uh, Sister Catherine in prayer. Sister Jesse was here yesterday. And uh, we thank God for her and give God praise and give God thanks. And please call, let them know that you're praying for them and uh, encourage them and encourage Sister Catherine as she continues to fight. We just give God praise and thanks. Thank God for Sister Cameron, who has done very well during the, the past week. She was a bit apprehensive, but things went well, and we just give God praise and thanks. Amen. And so, you know, my week is, is uh, uh, you were not apprehensive. She was apprehensive, I'm not too sure, and she's reading a whole lot of stuff, but God is good. And so we just give God praise and thanks for his faithfulness. Amen. And praise God. But Isaac, could you do me a favor and get me my Bible and my, my notes? Amen. Uh, every, you just bring everything. Uh, you could come.